Well, good day to all of you Earthlings. It's me, Jaime, uh, beaming this vlog directly from the Corn Tortilla Press mothership uh, here at the World Headquarters and located in Alameda, California. Um, it's late. I know I'm posting this late. I've been putzing around the house. I'm on water now, but the coffee's been done for a while. And uh, I've just been goofing off. And now I'm going to get to, you see the lights are on at the drawing table. Um, an illustration gig I have, so I'm going to ink it in today. And then as I said in the previous one, previous vlog, that I'll have to now drive across town in order to make it a JPEG. <laughs> Instead of using the information highway, I will literally be using the highway. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's my plan for today. I'll probably play some more musical instruments. I played a little ukulele yesterday, but I played my steel body guitar, the open tuning one. And filmed it in, uh, on this thing. But uh, I didn't like the way it came out. But I'm, I'm going to do it again today. And I might post it just right here. It, it won't be a corn tortilla vlog. We'll call it um, a procrastination vlog. Because that's essentially what it is. But um, I am, before the COVID hit, I was, I should say. Or I still am involved in a couple musical endeavors. So I'm trying to keep the fingers nimble and uh, not get too rusty. And unfortunately I am, so that's why I'm trying to practice. So other than that, oh, King Cat, I'm wearing a King Cat Comics t-shirt. Uh, John P, John Porcelino, out of Illinois, a Chicago boy, uh, does King Cat Comics. Man, he's like almost up to 80 of them now, issues. And um, yeah, got a shirt. I think we traded shirts or something. John's a great guy. I like his stories and stuff. Look him up, King Cat Comics. Um, you might like them. I think you will. They're the great stories and really, really cleanly and beautifully drawn. Real, real simply, simple, simply, simple, clean lines and, and great stories. Um, that's the plug there. Speaking of plugs, go to my website at corntortillapress.com. That's corntortillapress.com. And you can get yourself some comics that the stories are pretty good. And the artwork's way more scritchy scratchy. It's I don't know if it's beautiful, but it's what I do. Uh, I have been complimented once or twice over the last 40 years, so I might be on to something. Neither there, here nor there. Go ahead and check those out. Um, I also have stickers. I'm looking into designing, uh, at the end of this week, uh, and ordering some enamel pins. So we're going to have some enamel pins here at the... Corn Tortilla Press World Headquarters, and I also have stickers, t-shirts, as you know, they're all black, the t-shirts, but I have them in women's style and men's style. The men's style, the boxy shirts like this, the women's have more of a nape and, and the three-quarter sleeves, and they're shaped differently, and um, I have them from small, uh, all the sizes, all the way up to triple XL, so, you know, if you feel like it, I have Venmo, I have PayPal, um, you know, or if you just want to look at the website and just go, hey, look at this stuff. And uh, let's see, I'm answering a question today, and that one will be from Dave Tafoya, uh, my pal and uh, art teacher from high school. Uh, Dave said, what happened to all the Hawaiian shirts I had when I was in high school? <laughs> yeah, I was a weirdo, man. I mean, I had, a Hawaiian, I had a couple Hawaiian shirts in junior high. You know, I was blasting around the mid-70s on a skateboard with Hawaiian shirts pretending to be like Larry Bertelman or, or some surf hero. Um, yeah, Dave, I, I don't have them anymore because <laughs> I'm... I'm a lot bigger than I was in high school. To be fair, I did. In high school, I was just over 5'8", barely over 5'8", and I weighed about 150 pounds dripping wet. And then uh, two years after high school, I grew to 5'10", believe it or not, and uh, went up to 185, which back then was no fat. It was, yeah, and so shirts are gone. I have one Hawaiian shirt now. So I stopped wearing them because of just, uh eh, it was getting too hokey. A lot of the hokey people were wearing them, and it just kind of wasn't as cool as it was, say, in 1978. I don't know. That's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. But anyway, that's just a question. And you can ask me any question you want. Post it right below, wherever you see this, and I will answer it right here on the blog. So, in the meantime, I'm going to go uh, get to work. I've already had breakfast and everything. I'm going to keep chugging my water. Um, do that logo. And hopefully you guys have a nice day. If you have to go out, remember to wear a mask, uh, wash the hands, sanitize, uh, stay six feet or more. I suggest staying more uh, distant. In fact, you know, stay home. Also reach out to people. 
call them, uh, what do you call it, Zoom, FaceTime, all that stuff. Or go to their house and stand on their front lawn and, you know, go, Stella. I don't know. Do whatever you got to do. Uh, just be kind to one another because this we'll, we'll make it through this. It's been it's been like two months now, right? I think it's two months in this thing. So we could do this. It's it's at least here in the Bay Area, it's starting to level out a little bit, but time will tell. We'll see. All right, kids. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for supporting my little vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow.